Hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. So today, I have this book that I don't think deserves this award, but I'll explain to you guys nothing less. Feather, Jacqueline Woodson, National Book Award winning author of Brown Girl Dreaming, and it has the Newbery Honor. And this book, well, first of all, I'm just going to talk about this book. It's about an old Franny, and this is based on a time when there wasn't racism, but African Americans and whites, there was still tension between them. Like, they went to different schools, and, well, they didn't really talk to each other often. Well, now it's different, but then it was like that. And the, this book is based on those times. The main character, Franny, has a, has a deaf brother, and she goes to a school that has only blacks in it. I mean, African Americans in it. Because even though the racism was gone, there was still tension between the white and, well, dark colored skinned um, people who lived in America, the U.S., whatever. Anyway, and Franny, one day at school, a new boy came and he was a white. And everyone was so surprised in a whole black school, one white boy, why? And they soon, and they, he seems to be so perfect. And he seems to be like, like Jesus. And Franny's best friend, who is highly religious, religious, she even believes that that Jesus boy is actually Jesus. But uh, in the la in the end of the book, she is proved wrong. They know that they find out that Jesus boy is just a normal boy who has broken heart and and trauma and fighting and everything because he has adopted parents for black that's why he was going to the school and everyone was so mean to him at first especially trevor a bully and soon enough and trevor's dad was a white so the white boy after being bullied a couple days used that fact against trevor and everyone stopped billy and everyone stopped calling him jesus well, some probably did, because he did such a mean thing, even though it was in response to several days of bullying, you know what I mean? And that's basically it. That's the only content of this book. And I'm just going to criticize this book a bit, because I really did not like it. I know this author, Jacqueline Woodson. She's a great author. I'm not insulting her in any way. And I love her books. I love The Brown Girl Dreaming. Uh, it's probably somewhere in this huge, humongous bookcase, and I couldn't just find it, you know, it'll take hours. Anyway, yeah, Jacqueline Wilson, she's a great author, but this book wasn't so great. I mean, it had a um, couple lessons, a uh, lesson to be learned, and uh, the catapraise that keeps coming, hope it's a thing, was feathers, that's basically it. There's no pot, no fun, and, for example, Elijah, Elijah, I mean, sorry, um, this book won the Newbery Honor book, Honor, and it won, won, won another prize, and this book, however, had an exciting, thrilling plot, yet it got both of these prizes. This book, however, the plot kind of sucked. It was on the ground, not like Jacqueline Woodson. I know she's a kind of author that like puts excerpts out of poems and stuff like that. But Brown Girl Dreaming, it was actually interesting. But this book, it had no content. And I think, personally, that the only books that deserve a Newbery Honor is a book that has great lessons to be learned. Lessons that you really do lead in real life. And it also has a mediocre content that could bring you through the story. That's the kind of book that deserves this humongous award. But this book, I feel like, that it is overshadowed by the author of it, Jacqueline Woodson. She's a legend. She's an extremely well-written writer. But, but, this book kind of didn't deserve this award and yet got it. Why? Because of the author's other great books. She won four Newbery Awards. Four. And I'm pretty sure only about three or two of them deserve, really, really deserved it. And no offense to Jacqueline Woodson, who might be watching this video, because I love her books. I love The Brown Girl Dreaming. But this book, 
I guess. And guys, it's not a bad book, but I don't know if you I should recommend you this book because like it really wasn't enjoyable. But I'm sure once in a while your mom will make you read these annoying books. So you better do it. And I'm just gonna tell you. It's gonna be a long, annoying ride throughout the whole book. Not a bad book, guys. Though just painful to read. Anyway, like always, the book quester and the book quester.